Dale of the infamous Long Island area of New York. And a marvellous moment for the exciting 21-year-old Connor Ben, who's been lighting up the next-gen and domestic scene with some impressive early displays back home. And a US debut now to show New York what the son of the British legend has to offer. Ben in with Mexico's win-one-lose-one tough sort in Brandon Sanudo. And he's got the style, you'd have thought, Paulie, to really entice the fans here. Oh, yeah. You know, Connor Ben get, get, always gets a lot of knockouts, comes and looks for the, the, the destroyer mentality like his father had. He's got, a, he's got a live one in front of him, and Sanudo's come out with his own jabs, snapping out. So it's been, it's been a battle of the jabs early on to see who's going to set, set the tempo. Nigel not here tonight, but uh, he did FaceTime his son and wished him well. Connor, who's been here for a week under the guidance of Tony Sims, as always. And they were very pleased that he was fighting a Mexican. And a fairly durable one. Yeah, Normally yeah. shows a good chin. Has been stopped before, but they want rounds, don't they? Yeah, one thing about these kind of Mexican fighters, it doesn't matter their records or anything, they come to fight. It's, it's about the machismo and their pride. Nice right hand from Ben, good movement, but has to ship one there. And in this early ring education, it's always useful to uh, have to learn the tricks of the trade and protect yourself, and it's not all one-way traffic. Absolutely. And like, one thing learning about the tricks of the trade, I'd like to see Connor cutting off the ring a little bit. Sanudo is moving always to his left, and Connor is kind of following him around the ring. Not doing bad work. I, I wouldn't say Connor's doing bad, but I think he, he's able, he would be able to be, find the trajectory a little bit better if he cuts off Sanudo stepping over to the right a little bit better. Tried to land a body shot for the first time. The referee, uh, Tony Geritano, just telling him to keep them up. Connor Ben on the retreat here, Sanudo. And a good burst there from Ben, who carries real power. Seven knockouts in his nine victories to date. And there's a more mature feel with Ben this year than there was last. Slashing right hand. And Sanudo getting more and more on his bike. And let's have to see if, if, if Ben cuts off the ring a little better. Maybe if they've been in the corner, they. He instructs him to cut off that ring a little bit better. He's, uh, Sanudo's starting to move more and more, being intimidated more and more by the, the aggressive st style of Ben. He's had 13 fights, Sanudo. Seven years older at 28 from San Felipe in Mexico. Work out, fellas. Here's the clapperboard, which Conor Ben hears for Good the shot. first time on American soil. Big punches Time, no punch. in the Good neutral job. corner. And Sanudo felt those at the end of the first. And there is Tony Sims, who's kept everything uh, nice and relaxed all week here. There's a, a big group with Connor. He's brought family and friends. It's an exciting trip for him. Absolutely. The first American invasion of, uh, of what you would expect to be many for Conor Ben. <laughs> Sanudo corner. How can he utilize his experience to, uh, to try and negate what Ben's doing? Well, I think Sanudo came out with the right mentality using that jab, uh, trying to you know, use that snappy jab. But I think once he started to feel the power of Ben, the aggressive mentality of Ben, he started to realize Ben was actually dangerous. He started to kind of give up on the jab more and started to commit more to his movement. And that became more of a survival tactic, more so than a winning the round tactic. So we'll see if Ben uh, keeps the pressure on him or if Sanudo is able to find some confidence in this round. Second of six, both of them in skirt-like outfits. The uh, leopard of Brandon Sanudo oh. and the black of Nigel Ben's son, Connor. Ben landed a good hook about 15 seconds ago, 10 seconds ago. Another big yeah. shot as well. And he'll be gunning for a knockout here. Connor Ben to go with the three most recent ones. It's been a wonderful year for him. Mike Cole was undefeated. Kane Baker, too, and Nathan Clark. He wiped them out. And I'll tell you what, Sanudo is, is not an easy guy to track down. And, and, and he's, he's a pretty durable guy. Ben is starting to land some good shots. Oh, good oh, body shot. Beautiful body shot. Right in the perfect spot. He's not going to get up from that. Four, Brandon Sanudo. Five. Six. The count's at six. Seven. Connor Ben's about eight, to start celebrating. Nine, Fight is all over. Ten, Knocked out inside the second round. Ilford's Connor Ben gets a huge 
Round of applause from the Americans, and he did to the Mexican what the Mexicans <laughs> normally do to us. He sure did, he sure did. And uh, you couldn't ask for a better uh, American debut for, uh, for Conor Ben. This is one they'll, they'll remember him for here. And uh, it'll, it'll keep the fans wanting to see more of him for sure. Knockout number eight. And Brandon Sanudo still in a lot of pain. And that was that is. absolutely superb. Right in the spot, reminiscent of a Ricky Hatton. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You look right on the liver, right under the elbow, right there. And you look at the face of Sanudo as he's making the defensive move here. He's expecting a shot to the head. Watch. He lifts his gloves. You see he's expecting a shot to the head. Look, he, look at that right hand. The elbow's coming up. He's, look, he's waiting for the hook to the head. Instead, he doesn't get it. He gets the hook to the body, and him raising the elbow was the worst thing he could have done there. We both gasped at the same time. Oh, we? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a shot. That's a shot that'll make you gasp. And I'll tell you what, it made, uh, it made Sanudo gasp, too. I, st I still want to see, though, Ben work a little bit better on cutting off the ring. He was able to land that body shot. Uh, and, and, that, and that ended things tonight, but maybe a little better on cutting off the ring. We'll see. Stoppage, one minute of round number two. Your winner by knockout. He's still undefeated. Counter the destroyer. Ben. They're showing the replay on the big screen here. And there was ooze, ahs and uh, shouts of approval for Connor Ben. 10 out of 10, and the dream American debut. And, and, and a fighter who keeps getting better and better. He'll take a little bit out of this fight, get improved for the next one, and so on and so forth. But he's winning, and he's winning in exciting fashion. Connor, is that a dream debut for your American debut, just out Mexican to Mexican with a savage body shot? Exactly, I like that. Out Mexican to Mexican, you know, it was good. Uh, it was beautiful. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the atmosphere. I got some reception here, so, um, you know, it's just great experience at this um, early stage of my career. With your fan-friendly style, you're going to be a hit over here if you come back? Oh, I hope so, mate. I mean, to hit America and England, that, that's something special. How did you uh, reflect on the whole week, the whole experience? Has it been worthwhile? Oh, it's different. Do you know what I mean? It's really different. You know, get, you're not in your comfort zone. You know, even, even back here, you know, the, the way they do things is just completely different. And, um, you know, it takes a while to get used to, but, um, you know, it's early doors. And, you know, when it comes to the time I fight here, potentially for titles, I know what I'm in for. You seem to have matured and composed yourself since that injury. Do you think that's really a blessing in disguise? 100%. It's the biggest blessing in my life. You know, I thought it was the end of the world, and now I'm fighting in New York. You know, it's, it's character building, and, you know, I've learned a lot from it. I know you, uh, your dad's away, but you got a message from him on FaceTime earlier. How was that? It was good. He just said, there, go in there and do what you've got to do. Do you know what I mean? When I speak to my dad, it brings nothing but confidence. And, um, you know, he's done it, he's conquered it, and, you know, I, I plan on doing the same thing. Do you want to get out one more time before Christmas, or is that it now? No, that's for my, tra my trainer and promoter to decide. But, um, you know, as long as I keep improving the way I'm proving, I don't see why not. Brilliant and well done. Let's have a quick word with your promoter, Eddie Hearn. Eddie, in terms of uh, American debuts, that was completely to plan, I presume. Yeah, special. And it's a bit nerve-wracking. I was, I was nervous for him. Different environment, different kind of crowd. Uh, a really good performance, a composed performance, a mature performance from a young man who seems to be maturing very fast. And, you know, like you said, out Mexican, the Mexican, beautiful body punching, good variety. You know, took his time, didn't, didn't rush his work. Really, really good performance. That's 10 and 0 now for Conor Ben, coming along at a lovely pace. Brilliant, thank you. Absolutely, Conor Ben, very much impressing on his USA debut. Uh, very much went to plan, Darren. It did, spot on. That's exactly how you'd want to make your debut. As I've said there, it was, it was lovely. Uh, great body shot, and I, j I just love the way he's improving in every fight, Conor. Um, under my old trainer, Tony Sims, who who knows the game inside out, and, yeah, he's improving and looking good. He's spoken about that, though, hasn't he? When he had the long layoff and he came back, he said he came back with a different attitude, and he said, spoke in that interview saying that layoff was almost the biggest blessing in his life. He's a completely different fighter. Uh, he's improved. I smile each time I see him. I think I'm the oldest one here to, to, to be very familiar with his dad going out there in the States fighting <laughs> Sandy Lyon-Williams, <laughs> Doug Dewey, Iron Barkley, and, and that style, his style, 
the Americans will love it. That was a great introduction for him to go over there into the States because the stabilizers are now off now. He's now graduated. Now it's his chance to say, right, look at my style. Yes, there are little things that he can do to adjust, but adjusting on that, a body shot like that. What Only certain shot. fighters can get up front of that, though. Yeah, not many can, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got to be a half man to get up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But it was <laughs> pretty a much the perfect body perfect shot, Perfect timing. Uh, per and he actually wasn't cutting him off well. Uh, he was following him around the ring, so from the position he was in, mm. to get the shot in and get the, the result he did, the power that was there was can actually be improved on if you'd have squared him off and dropped the body shot in. So uh, for, for Ben, onwards and upwards, I'm, mm. I'm so happy for him. I think the Americans will love him. Johnny, you fought abroad a lot when you were learning your trade. How much will he gain from fighting in the US? Well, he mentioned it. He said it's so different here. Uh, and, and that's what he'll, he'll put in my head of a lot of fighters where he's in an, a, a, an environment where it's completely foreign to him. And so for him, it will only mature him as a fighter. All right, thank you very much, chaps. Uh, with Ben okay. going short, we time for some bonus action. And this one at Featherweight featuring Texas' Jesse Angel Hernandez up against Baltimore's Glenn Desert. We